Hey Assassins, this is part number 9 in the Phantom Manor ride built in Minecraft. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to build this green fireplace behind me, emanating with these green embers and just making it look grossly glowing. <laughs> um, we also have ourselves this area up here to build today. As you can see I'm lagging a little bit because we're getting to the very packed up sections of the graveyard and, and then downwards to hell. I think it's hell. So we're going to be building this today as well. This is kind of like uh, supposed to represent some feathers over here, like a very feathered sort of um, curtain, I think it is. And then we also have some more over here. And then behind that is the bride looking in the mirror uh, at herself and the phantom as well. So this is kind of the attic space. And we also have a little bit of uh, remnants here of the mansion. So it kind of looks like you're going outside of the manor into the, the grounds. And then you can see it on the back as well. So we'll try and get this done today, we'll get this room definitely done today, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a really good small tutorial I think, so good stuff, we'd like an easy section. Let's get some materials and get started with part number 9. Okay then guys, so to start off today's video, we're going to need some red wool, some black concrete, some granite, stripped dark oak wood, some spruce wood planks, and some spruce wood stairs, some spruce wood slabs, some white stained glass panes, and finally some spruce trap doors. Now according to my original build notes, we don't need to change the track layout in today's episode, which is actually really nice and reassuring. So uh, I'm just hoping I trust my notes. I, I, I don't really, to be honest. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. We're going to go to this little space down here next to the grand ballroom and just build this up until we're about two blocks before the top. Like so. Just temporarily, I'm pretty sure we build this all the way up afterwards when we put the roof on, but for now we'll just do it two blocks from the top. Then we'll go just next to it, so here, and again build the same. And we're actually going to build 20 of these walls just behind this one. So we've got number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. All the way up to there. Now we're going to build this right the way up to that exact position. Let's get it done. Oh, also, whilst you're here, you may as well do another one just around the corner there, and one also here. Okay, let's get that done, and then we'll get on the next step. Okay, so there is our blacked out wall. Very, very blank, but it's looking good at the moment. We're going to come back here, and at this one that we ended on just earlier, we'll actually build four behind it now to build this into a five block shape. So we'll go for two, three, four, five. And then we'll build this up. Once again, to the same height as the rest of the materials we've just used. Now this is going to be the dividing wall between going around this corner, where the fireplace is and everything, and stopping you from seeing the mirror as soon as you come around this corner. You don't really want to like, spoil the illusion. So if you're looking like directly from behind the, the bride, for example, it may spoil the whole reflection thing. So we're trying to make it look as it should. But that is looking cool so far. Now we'll drop down to this side. Now this does get a little bit weird because we have to use the black concrete again, but we're gonna start here instead. We'll build 18 of these ones, same height as that wall just there. So we've got number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, up to that corner. And then we want to do 19 just here. So we just start the one before it on the right side. Now we'll build this entire wall up to this layer as well. Let's get it done. Now that we've done that, we have our connection between the great ballroom and this attic space up here. We're next going to use ourselves stripped dark oak wood. And we need to go ahead and build down beside the track layout. Now we're actually going to build on our 20th row, I think, sorry, our 19th row, just here. So we're going to build from back here, so we're going to have two lots of space between the track and this wall. We're going to build this so it just goes a block above the track, and that is four blocks from the ground. We're only going to do three of those for now, and then we're going to cut into a corner of two, like so. Then we'll go up for another one, and this one is going to go to the right for about nine blocks. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it just goes past this four of the track. We'll build it up again. If you notice that all of these materials are going to be two blocks away from our actual track. Like so. Apart from in this corner where it goes up to three on a diagonal. But the rest is just two. So from the nine, we then go in for seven lots of one. One, two, that's diagonal by the way. Three, four, five, six, 
and of course seven and then what we want to do next is kind of build um, about one two and three up in here and this one is going to go a little bit further along this way and past the track as well because it's going to be where we exit the actual manor itself to get into the graveyard and then downwards over here so we're trying to make that sort of represented just here okay that's looking good now we're going to take ourselves our granite and we're going to fill up this lot to this height up here so we'll do here actually what we might do just to save us a little bit of time we're going to fill up all of these with granite to that height um, on every single one of these wood uh, woods apart from these three at the back leave these three empty so every other one build the granite up to the height of your black concrete from before and then once you've gone gone ahead and done that we can actually work on the next section of building the painting and the fireplace over here so there we go that looks really cool it does look a bit strange because granite is not usually used for wallpaper um, but we're trying to use it for our wallpaper here and once it does have the vines over it it does look a little bit better so next we'll take ourselves our stripped oak wood again and we actually want to build our wall over here with this three into a 16 block wall now of course we're going to knock out the middle because we have the track over it so we're not going to build in that we're also going to stop our um, dark oak wood here and the other side from the track just so we can have a little bit of a gap between it otherwise it's going to be filled up the entire way now I'm going to do the same over here so I'm going to build one uh, just above the track um, I'm actually going to go for let's go for about four two three and four like so now then starting up this way as we have ourselves three behind this wall so the ending wall will be here so we're going to go for another one so that becomes four and then we'll do three past it if that makes sense so we'll go for one two three and now we have ourselves our first block to start this counting on so we need to get 16 like i said so we'll have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen i actually counted that right that was amazing <laughs> that's a miracle okay we're going to go ahead and use this area over here so there's a lot of seven filling it up with our spruce wood planks all the way up to the granite level like so and you can actually do the same over on these four as well the middle part will be the trickiest part because it's going to be the archway for the manor's exit so uh, we'll get onto that in just a moment okay so as we've gotten to this archway over here we're going to build an arch that goes across the track connects up the two walls and makes a window up here we actually need to drop below and change up the track going forward from this position so technically i was right in my notes saying there's nothing that needs changing here but we do need to change and prep for the next section um, which will be part number 10 wow blimey we're on 10 already so we're going to go past this and sort of change the track i'm going to swap out my granite because we don't need it anymore i'm going to go grab some chiseled nether bricks here keeping this one here that connects diagonally to this left wall with these three and knock out these ones in front of it i'm also going to do the same with this one and these three over here so we have those just there that's fine i'm going to go to these two sorry these three over here but these two on the right side and i want to build myself another lot of track just there and i'm going to go forward once again for another two and then i'm going to count this really quick so i've got three lots of two technically just here in this cluster and i want to go up for a final lot just here and then i'll add in one up there now don't worry about the connections at the moment it's going to be separated just for a minute um, but we get onto that in part number 10 so don't worry but that's cool and then we can continue the wall over in this right side just here so we'll fill this one up it still has the same length of 16 like i said however what on earth was that noise uh however we're gonna just build in one more block to the left side so that we can have a track uh, width of about four here but only two lots for actual track hopefully that makes sense so the next thing to do is take in our spruce trap doors on both sides of the wall for three of course one of those is going to be your stripped dark oak wood the other two on the uh, spruce wood planks then you can do upside down spruce wood stairs with two slabs connecting then four stained glass panes with two in the center then we'll do ourselves planks again around this 
like so, almost like an attic window up here. Then you just want to add in yourself four trapdoors, two on the sides and then two at the top, like so. Brilliant. Okay, now we're about time to get on to the next part. So for this next bit, we'll add in ourselves our trapdoors. We'll go ahead and put three in here. Oops, <laughs> that did not go well. We'll do ourselves one just here, here, and then we'll basically do it until we reach the big wall down here. So just stop it on this one. Fold them all down. Of course, we can't put them on both sides because we're going to block off another trapdoor, but it's fine. It's all about perspective, really. And as long as they look similar to the uh, the real thing, then we need not worry. We'll come back in for three trapdoors, and we'll go above the third one. We'll go leaving a block here, leaving another block, a third block, and then up here, we want to add in a normal stair just on the side like so. That is going to have a barrel below it for a cuckoo clock, and then a fence gate below that. So we'll get those materials later. For now, let's backtrack even more to the other side of where our fireplace will be. So it will be closer to this side of the wall. We'll go ahead and stick in ourselves one, two, and three trapdoors on this left side. We'll then leave ourselves this big space here, so these two, and this one around the corner. And we'll add in two more trapdoors, just like so. Now we take our red wall, and we can fill up every single part of the track alongside it. Be sure to get that one over here, by the way. Remember, it's going to have to be three blocks up from the uh, ground because that is, of course, where our track now sits. But you fill in all of these with the red and then we'll get back to it. Looking very nice, guys. Well done. Let's go down to the right side over here. So where we ended this uh, wall back here with our spruce. We'll now take ourselves our red wall and we want to build six blocks from this wall at the end so one two three four five six we'll build these up to the exact height of uh probably our black concrete i think it's going to be a block below okay no so we'll build it a block below this layer just here keeping it like so then we want to go around the corner for two lots of one diagonally back in on ourselves like so and then we'll do three one two three building these upwards to here and then we'll do ourselves six again diagonally away so that is now one two three four five and a sixth one here yep so two connect to the black concrete which is also what I have in my diagram just here so that is lucky <laughs> sometimes I don't trust myself to make these diagrams but uh, no that that turned out well so that's good brilliant so now we have ourselves the closed off area for this space up here. Now if you want to fill in the bottom of this with your red wall as well, up to the track layer of three, then we can hop on to getting some more materials and getting on to the next section, which is basically furnishing this area. So now we'll take ourselves some dark oak wood slabs, some dark oak trap doors, some vines, some white wool, some white stained glass panes, some polished black stone bricks, some dark oak wood planks and some dark oak wood stairs. And finally, a yellow candle as well. Let's go down this way and start up this way. Start up this direction. So we're going to take ourselves our slab first, just here on the actual corner. Then we'll do a trapdoor on these two sides folded up behind it. That is going to be for a little chair just in the corner there. No rhyme intended. <laughs> Let's place a plank in the red wall here, besides our trapdoor. And one two blocks away in the floor as well, just there. Cool. Next we want to go ahead and take ourselves some dark oak wood stairs and fold them up Oops, just here with one above and just here with one above. Then we'll knock out the two back dark oak wood blocks like so. We'll place two more planks above this connecting two lots of stairs. We'll stick ourselves four yellow candles on both sides of these planks like so. Then we'll knock out a four block space above this. And then I'm going to knock out these two as well. I'm going to stick myself polished black stone bricks in here, almost to represent a photo frame. And I'll go to the outside and fill up these blocks here to cover all the holes we just made, like so. Cool, that looks really creepy. Now we're going to take ourselves white stained, uh, sorry, white wool, placing two up here, and then the white stained glass panes for two more there. 
That is of course representing the bride that we've been making all around the manor so far. We'll then take two more dark oak trapdoors and fold them down with the hollowed out squares for the top of this picture like so. Cool. Now we'll take vines, we'll go ahead and put vines for two lots here, so basically matching our trapdoors just there. We'll then do some just here on the corner, another lot on the corner just here. We'll then do some over here, all the way next to this fireplace for these four rows. We'll then go above the fireplace for these four, down from the fireplace for these as well. And if you also want to pick block yourself another spruce trapdoor and stick it just here, then that'll be cool to do so. We're then going to go ahead and come around this and kind of add in a bunch more vines basically all around this area as well. So I'm going to go down here, adding in next to this attic window. And over here we can only add a few over this way. We may need to chop some out for the furnishings over that way, but for now that'll do. Then we're going to come back on ourselves and we'll do matching up to the ones with the trapdoors on, apart from the cuckoo clock one. You can place two up here and one below, but that's it. Then we'll go for one, and then a final one over here. There we go. Brilliant. Let's get some more materials. I have just realised I forgot to wear my Disney outfit again. Ah, oh, I'm really getting forgetful. I need to put it on for next time, for sure. We're now going to take ourselves some lime stained glass anyways, some dark oak wood planks once more, some soul campfires, an iron hoe, item frames, barrels, spruce fence gate, a clock, and finally some spruce signs. We'll stick ourselves a barrel under this stair over here, with a fence gate below it, open if possible. Then we'll do ourselves a sign on the side of the barrel, so you have to sh uh, shift or crouch for that one. Shout, I was going to say. <laughs> then we'll stick ourselves an item frame on the front of it. Again, shifting or crouching, or shouching. And then stick a clock on the front as well. I hope shouching isn't like a swear word in a different language. That'd be pretty bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stick ourselves four planks over here, like so. Soul campers at the back. And then we'll do ourselves two lime glass at the front. So, of course, it gives the effect that it's a lime fire. Pretty cool. Now we're going to stick ourselves an item frame to the right of the fireplace with a hoe facing downwards for maybe like something to stoke the fire. Cool. By the way, if you want to grab some flint and steel to light the candles, feel free to do so guys. Okay, let's get on to the next step over here and then we can call it a day. Keep yourself your dark oak wood planks. Okay guys, so for this next section it may get a little bit tricky, so definitely remember the pause button is there if you need it and you can ask me any questions you may have down in the comments below. Okay, I just dropped my banner. There we go. <laughs> We're going to grab ourselves dark oak wood planks, some dark oak wood slabs, some black stone, some dark oak wood stairs, some nether brick fences, some jukeboxes, a lever, a hopper, and finally some white banners. Okay, so over here we're going to go ahead and start with building some feathers. We'll take ourselves, well, feathery curtains. So we'll take ourselves our nether brick fence, we'll run along this red wall, wall just here. Red wool wall, that is hard to say quick. We're going to go for one, two, three, and on four. We don't want to build on four, we're going to build actually on the fifth one. So over here, on the second block up for two. I'll stick blackstone below for one and above for one. Then I'll go back in and build a wall of about five behind that. Then I'm going to go ahead and build myself one forward from this one. And one, two, three, four, five above that one. Just like so. Yep, that's looking okay. It's a little bit difficult to tell on my photo, but I'm pretty sure that's cool. Yep, we'll stick it out, and then if we need to change it, we can always do that later. We'll stick ourselves two more nether um, fence gates, nether fences down here. Blah, blah, blah. Nether brick fences, like so. We'll go for one more blackstone just here. Then we'll go for another blackstone here with a fence in like so. We'll then come behind this and we'll do two layers, so we'll build four. Then we'll do three. Then we'll do ourselves two. Then we're gonna build one diagonally up from this one, so we'll have to place ourselves one on here with one there. And then actually on this one, you can stick one just here. Um, and then we'll go from one just there like so. And maybe another one there, there, and there like so. 
yeah, that looks that looks pretty accurate. Okay, cool. It's always difficult with black materials in Minecraft because they're quite dark coloured. You can't actually tell sometimes the difference, you know, the sort of difference in block. So you really have to look at it really in depthly and try and figure things out. And plus, I always have my brightness turned down on my phone. So when I'm shaking, taking a picture of like the plan version, um, I do struggle to see it, which is my own fault, to be honest. <laughs> I should just put the brightness up. All right, we're going to take ourselves a jukebox now. We'll go back to the second block on this wall. We'll go a block away from the wall, and then we'll build a jukebox here. We'll then crouch or shift click to place a lever on this side. Actually, I don't think you need to. Oh, you do. Okay, there we go. And then we'll shift and crouch click to place a hopper above our lever, just like so. That is going to be for a gramophone just here. Cool. We'll take slabs now, and we'll run them from this first lot of blackstone here, going along to our wall up this direction. This wall is going to be one, two, three, four blocks with slabs. And then we're going to build like two lots of the feathers here just before reaching this wall. So we'll do two and then three, like so. We'll then come behind this and we'll go in here for building three up like so. And then we want to build two more. We'll build one in this little gap below our vines just there. We'll then stick ourselves a stair on this one. So you just have to remove that vine. We'll then do two slabs across the top of these stairs. So just up from them. We'll then do a stair going down the other side. Then we'll do ourselves an upside down stair below it. A normal stair is going to go in this gap. It's going to be a bit awkward, so I'm just going to chop myself a little bit of a gap out. Like so. So we have this little design just here. That would be the same on the opposite side, but of course you can't really see it because um, of the perspective. So I'll just fill it in with black stone. So like so. Then we'll take ourselves dark oak wood planks and we'll build a build in three. Then we'll come down here and we'll build in this entire section for one layer of dark oak wood planks. Even behind our black stone like so. Cool. Let's replace this wall over here. There we go. Cool. That's looking good. So next we'll take ourselves one, two, three more um, dark oak wood. Then I'm going to do one, two, three, and four just here. Now I'm going to build the same stair design over this way. Might be a little bit awkward, we'll see. Nope, not too bad. Cool. And then I'm going to stick myself one blackstone here and one slab on this side. Representing the mirror, but making sure there's a bit of a curtain or um, whatever this is supposed to represent. I can't actually remember. But um, yeah, that'll be going in there like so. Cool. Now we can take a white banner here and a white banner here. And then we can grab ourselves some more materials. Good stuff. So then finally, we'll take some white wool once again. Some white stained glass panes, some white carpet, red banners, a potion of your guys' choice, preferably a lingering one, just because it looks like perfume. We'll then take some item frames, white stained glass, and some black stained glass, as well as a wither skeleton skull. You may also need to grab your planks back if you didn't fill in this bottom section before, but we should have just done that, so that's all good. We're now going to take ourselves our white wall. We'll stick in two just here and then we'll do two stained glass panes behind it. We then want to do a cluster of four on the bottom. So it's going to be in, in like a three circle connected to that one we placed just now. And that'll be for the bride's sort of long dress at the back there. We then want to take ourselves two white carpet here. Item frames on both sides with lingering potions facing towards the bride. At a diagonal, like so. I'm now going to pick block back a white banner and place another one here. I'm going to come into the mirror, I'm going to place myself one stained glass just here, looking opposite the bride. A black stained glass to the right of that one, with a wood of skeleton skull on top. Then I'm going to take myself, pick blocking back some ooh, planks again, just here. I'm going to place myself two up above, and then I'll stick myself four stained glass panes just here. Like so, for the mirror. Awesome. Now I'm going to take myself some red banners and I'm basically going to fill in the rest of this uh, red wall wall as best I can, making almost like a pattern just with this. You can have it as cluttered as you want to, you can have it as sparse as you want to, whatever you want to do with this one, go for it. Just remember that you can't place banners around the corner if you've got them like this. So it's all about perspective again, so when you're looking at the front, that's what you'll need to see. 
it is a bit glitchy look there's a little bit of a little bit of a bug there but that's all right so in here as well and then around the corner here just doing it like so oh i'm getting very laggy <laughs> this is not good i'm sure it'll be fine if need be i'll just trim back some sections for later sections if that makes sense so we can have a lag free video but there we go that is how to build the attic from phantom manor in minecraft well then guys i did remember to put my jumper on at the, the last part of the tutorial ah we're getting there but it's all good oh by the way if you notice carpet just there don't worry that is for when we add in the roof above and then we add in the lighting and whatnot as you can see the vines are kind of growing up the roof there so not to worry about that carpet we didn't miss anything just yet so phew wipe the sweat off your brow it's all good <laughs> if you did enjoy today's video please be sure to drop a like guys that would really help me out so much and it would be awesome to see if you guys are new around here welcome to the channel thank you so much for checking out my latest video really do appreciate that if you're interested in more of these phantom manor tutorials and many more disney tutorials coming in the near future please consider joining the assassin today for free by subscribing who doesn't love a freebie oh great um, <laughs> and if you are on social media and you would like your day cheering up a little bit with some Minecraft content, please be sure to follow me up on my ones with the links in the description. And so the next time assassins have an excellent rest of your day, stay tuned for part number 10, Whew, 10 already, coming very, very shortly, and I will see you for the next one. Goodbye for now, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great one.